please don't forget to like our videos and subscribe to our channel so that we can bring you like-minded individuals more content. Remember to click on the bell to be notified when we post next. Welcome back sailors to this third and final episode of As We See It on board Virgin Voyages Valiant Ladies Mermaiden Voyage. We did arise quite early this morning. We had the wake book for breakfast this morning but neither of us fancy steak and eggs after we had quite a meh experience in the wake the other evening. So we cancelled it last night. Instead we headed up to the galley as Paul wanted cereal and so he had porridge and I had a breakfast. <laughs> as we got off yesterday. I found out we were leaving at 11am and the onboard time was 10.30am. I had to plead with security to let me get off just to get a quick picture. They thought that I wanted to walk along the pier and I said no I just want to get a picture of the whole ship so if you can see that car down there at the end of the gangway I'd like to stand by there to get the picture. They were still adamant they were not going to let me off but one of the security staff members said that she would go with me but as long as I stood by the car to get the picture. I thought that was quite nice of her and very good customer service. I only had five minutes to all aboard time at 10.30. It took me less than 90 seconds to do it. I did laugh though as I still had time to film around the ship, have a conversation with a couple of cruise vloggers before returning to the room and as I watched off the balcony, two late cameras were still allowed to board at 10.45am. We departed Zeebrugge around 11 o'clock that morning. <laughs> We had brought along the latest episodes of Suspicion and Severance with us so we could watch them. And we had started to try and watch Suspicion last night but I kept nodding off so we finished it this morning. We ordered room service as we love the bag it comes in and also the chicken noodle soup is delicious. And we wanted another cup of tea as there are not facilities to make these in the room. After this, I wandered around the ship with the GoPro and the iPhone and got some pictures and video.
I ordered Marguerite's pizza from the pizza place before heading back to the room to share it with Paul. We had a bit of a disco nap and then put on Venom to let there be carnage whilst getting ready for dinner. Our dinner reservations this evening were for Pink Agave. It's an authentic Mexican flavours and one of our favourites on board. So for starters we shared guacamole, shredded grilled corn, tuna avocado, prawns with potatoes and a chicken enchilada. We both had the very short rib remain but we skipped dessert because we quite fun. We still had some onboard spend, so it was time to head back down to the shops to get a few extra things. We ended up in the Squid Ink Tattoo Parlour. We got two small teddy bears, so we have the lion and the monkey with tattoos on them. It was Scarlet Night this evening, and it was great to see so many people dressed up in red. There was lots of impromptu events happening across the whole of the ship, including the large dance party in the Red Room, which went on till midnight, and then threw on to, into the Manor Nightclub for beats until you could drop. We went to the Red Room for a bit because it was rather packed inside. The music was good. We met Dr. Alex on the Never Sleep Alone show. It was then time to head back to the room to do our packing and get some sleep. So we had received a message to say that we would be arriving in port an hour later tomorrow at 7.30am. That meant we'd be cutting it fine because our train was scheduled to leave at 8.45am. It's now the following day. Whilst we got into the port around 7.00am, it took till 7.55 before we were allowed to disembark. We then got onto the shuttle buses, off of the port and then a walk through the terminal. We got stopped by border control. We hadn't bought any duty free, but a couple of questions before being cleared and being able to continue with our journey. We walked outside but there was no taxis at the rank. We went to call an Uber and a couple of taxis arrived. We jumped in the cab and we got to the station with just minutes to spare which was nice. We did have a little panic on that we wouldn't get there on time. It was then time to jump on the train and head back to London. Thank you sailors for joining us for this three part series on board Virgin Voyages Valiant Ladies Mermaid and Voyage. We hope that you had fun and you enjoyed your time with us. Now if you're a like minded cruiser or you just enjoy virtually being on the trip with us, please subscribe to our channel so you know when we're posting next. We hope to see you next time. Until then, stay safe and thanks for watching.